Good afternoon and Merry Christmas everyone! Happy December 25th! Here we are on the last day of the Advent calendar. Um, I just want to thank you all for joining me on these 25 days of short stories and chocolates. I hope you've enjoyed yourself as much as I have. I know I've really liked um, you know, exploring all these new writers and stories with you guys. So um, thank you again for joining me all the way through this. I know it's not easy to watch 25 YouTube videos in 25 days. So um, thank you. Um, I, as I mentioned before, I don't have my chocolate advent calendar with me, but I've had different chocolates to show you guys each day since then. And this was one of my Christmas presents that I got last night, actually. I wanted to show you. It's a giant Hershey's Kiss. And um, for those of you who don't live in North America, you may not have these, but it's, Hershey's chocolate is kind of a, a distinctive kind of chocolate. And Hershey's Kisses are usually about this big. So this is a giant one for the holidays. And you basically just open it by ripping down this little label and it's just like milk chocolate on the inside. So I'm really excited to dive into this. I know my family's just waiting for me to film this video so we can break into it. So um, great Christmas present there. <laughs> that should last me at least for a few days. Um, now onto the story. So you'll see it's kind of designed in an interesting way. It's different than the other ones. I've got all the numbers down to 25 and of course this is black and white and all the other stories have been different colors so this is very distinctive. And this story, which was a Christmas story, is called A Chaparral Christmas Gift by O. Henry, which it also has a bit of a chocolate theme to it because it reminds me of O. Henry the Chocolate Bar. Now O. Henry um, lived from 1862 to 1910 and I'm his name sounds familiar, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've read one of his stories, but I know that the name will sound familiar to a lot of people. I believe he's, yeah, I'm not sure if he's an American writer or, it. based on the content of the story, I'm gonna guess he's American, but I could be wrong about that. So basically the story is about a young woman who has two different suitors. Her name is Rosita, or Rosalita. Rosita. And um, so two different suitors ride up to her father's ranch to kind of win her heart. She ends up choosing one of them and the other one who is scorned is very bitter and he tries to shoot the couple on their wedding day, which happens to be Christmas day. Uh, he is not successful in shooting them. Well, I think he shoots off part of the ear of the groom or something like that, but he doesn't injure them badly and um, kind of kind of rides off bitterly on his horse and from then on kind of becomes this outlaw and kills a bunch of other people and becomes this really bad person just because he's so bitter about you know not getting the woman of his dreams. And then we skip ahead a few years to Christmas Day at the ranch of the happily married couple and um, someone asks the wife, you know, are you still afraid of that man who shot at you? His, his, he develops a nickname, like the Frio Kid. Um, and they said, yeah, are, are you still afraid of the Frio Kid coming to shoot you? And she said, you know, something like, I'm, I am still a bit afraid, but I really do believe that there's good in everyone. And um, then this Santa Claus, this man dressed up as Santa Claus comes up to her and says, you know, I heard what you said and I had a gift that I was going to give your husband, um, but I've decided against it. Here's a gift for you instead. You know, go find it in your living room. And she goes into the other room to see what her gift is and it's just her husband. And she's like, oh, there's supposed to be a gift here for me. And he said, oh, it's just me. And then we find out afterwards that um, the Frio kid was dressed as Santa Claus and shot by someone else who had, you know, vowed to protect this happily married couple. So there's this cute little, well, I shouldn't say cute because someone is murdered, but there's a little twist at the end where we um, discover that the Frio kid was in fact the guy dressed as Santa Claus and his gift to Rosita was not shooting her husband. Um, but he ends up dying anyways because he was such a bad man. Lots of people hated him. And this story was only five pages long, if you can believe it. But it was, 
I really enjoyed it. And this little twist at the end, like this little epiphany, is kind of what I was referring to a few days ago. And I've mentioned it a few times throughout this video series, is really talented short story writers have this way of focusing in on one or two incidents and creating this, the, the way that they describe them and the way that we learn the facts um, allows us to learn things in um, a very unique and different way by the end of the story. So it kind of makes us stop and think, huh, that's what the writer was saying, or that's actually what happened, instead of just um, describing everything in a linear fashion. So this is what I really like about short stories, because it, it, uh, I don't find this in novels very often, but short stories in particular um, will well-written short stories will include these epiphanies and that's what makes them so fun to read. So when people tell me I don't like short stories, I always recommend collections that include these kinds of things because I think that's what changes people's mind about the form in general. So those are my thoughts. Um, December 25th, here we are, 25 stories in. Uh, overall, I really enjoyed doing this. It was really fun. It was a lot of work, but I loved reading a different short story every day and discovering all these different writers and genres and styles of writing. So I'm for sure gonna be buying my short story advent calendar next year. I'm sure they'll be doing it again. Next year should be the fourth year in a row, I believe. So if you go to hinkstonandolson.com, you can, you can order, you think you can still order this year's calendar if you're interested. Um, but keep an eye on that website for next year so you can buy the 2018 calendar. I know I will be. And um, thank you so much for following me on this adventure. I've really enjoyed speaking with you guys and getting all of your comments and feedback and following along with the other two bloggers, the CR Flames fan and Laura Fry from Reading in Bed. It's been a really great time for me. So thank you everyone for joining in. How fun. And I just want to remind you guys that I post video book reviews. I wouldn't say frequently, but I'm hoping to do it more often. So you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which comes up as the little circle of me and Smokey on um, this video at the end. Or you can check out my blog at ivereadthis.com because I have lots of written book reviews there and um, I usually link to my video book reviews there too. So um, please check those out. You can follow me on Twitter at I've read this blog and I will speak with you guys, not tomorrow, but soon. Okay, Merry Christmas, bye.